Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and another episode of Buyer's Remorse where I talk about my best and worst designer purchases. This look today is brought to you by BoxyCharm and Tarte and I want to thank BoxyCharm for sponsoring today's video. I am wearing all of their products on my face. I'm wearing the mascara, the blush, I'm wearing the new Juicy Lip Lip Gloss. It's amazing. It literally looks like a lipstick that you turn up but it goes on as a gloss. I'm wearing their eyeliner as well and I also use their new HTO moisturizer on my neck area. So I am absolutely loving these products and I want to thank BoxyCharm again for sponsoring today's video. So let me show you what all I got in my box and then we can hop into the buyer's remorse. All right, so let's jump into unboxing this BoxyCharm and Tarte Cosmetics box. If you guys remember when I first started vlogging, I used to do BoxyCharm unboxings all of the time. So let me know if you guys want me to tap back into doing that and I will start back doing those because I always found some of my favorite products right from BoxyCharm. So if you guys did not know what BoxyCharm is, it's a monthly membership service that curates the best in beauty, which is skincare, makeup, hair care, and tools delivered right to your door with free shipping. Depending on your membership, Charmers can choose up to three products from each box. All premium BoxyCharm subscribers will receive the Tarte Takeover box as their premium boxy for October. So that what I just applied to my hand is the C drink of H2O Hydrating Boost that retails for $39. I like it because it's unscented and I don't think that it will break me out if I use it on my face and my neck. And so today I applied it and used it on my neck prior to doing my makeup. This here is the Sea Breezy Cream Blush which retails for $27. Now mind you, if you guys are signed up for BoxyCharm, th the membership is $39.99. You get all of these products these full size products for $39.99 if you are a subscriber to BoxyCharm Premium. It, that is absolutely amazing. Now this here, this Maracuja Juicy Lip, it was magic. I did not expect this when I swatched it. It goes on like a lip gloss. Do you see that? That is absolutely amazing. But let me say my favorite out of the box has to be the Double Take Away Micro Liquid Liner and Brightener. This bad boy has a nude liner that really opens up and give you that dolly look look at the pigment oh my god and then the felt tip on the liquid eyeliner pen like i mean you will get a perfect wing with no problem this has been my favorite since I first started YouTube. This lights camera lashes mascara. The one just really makes it look like your lower lashes has falsies on it. And then this is the Sunrise Clay Amazonian eyeshadow palette. It's very pigmented and has some of the best neutral colors that I highly recommend. So all you have to do is click my link below to sign up for BoxyCharm and you will get the Tarte Cosmetics box. This is the premium box and you must sign up before the end of the month to get this box. Okay, so the first designer item that I got that I absolutely love, so this is one of my best purchases, is my Fendi necklace. I got this in Neiman and Marcus. It was roughly around about $475. I bought this for myself for my birthday right before I flew off to Cabo for a little trip that I had, and I absolutely love this. I wear it a lot because it's long enough to cover that keloid scar on my chest. So I basically wear this a lot it doesn't tarnish it's really really good quality um, and I think it just like adds a nice little dainty feel to any outfit that I wear it with when I don't want to like over accessorize you know what I'm saying so this is definitely one of my best purchases okay the next item are these Versace glasses I picked these up in Nordstrom's these are really nice they have that oval shape and they are white i really feel like these amp up any look but you have to be careful what you pair these with because i don't think they go with all different types of hairstyles i feel like if you're going for a nice retro look like a 50s look these would be perfect just because of the shape um and they're really high fashion i like the detail on the sides um, I just feel like it really like amps up and just even though they're this basic white 
sunglasses the detail on the side gives it that luxurious vibe sometimes when i wear these i do kind of get a headache just because i feel like this is really tight around like my ear area um and it causes like kind of like a tension migraine but i love these and the price point was amazing these cost me um almost 500 dollars at nordstrom's okay the next designer item i got are these mew mew sunglasses love the packaging that they come in so so nice it's this velvet case um, and, and they also come with a dust bag as well really really nice I got these while I was in Cancun for a solo trip and these are just this I don't know what this design is I want to say it's like um, I want to say it's kind of like a leopard, but these are the cat eye sunnies, and I think that these are so, so beautiful. These are also retro, just like those Versace's, but I think that you can get away with wearing these with different hairstyles and um, outfits more than the Versace glasses. They are just absolutely beautiful. So I definitely feel like these are one of my best designer purchases and these were 285 in usd i bought them in cancun so it was it was a little bit less in my opinion um with the conversion rate so these were like 285 all right the next item is this jacquemus run Les sac runs bag this retails for 895 dollars i love the price point of jack and moose because i don't like spending a lot of money on purses so um when i saw this i immediately wanted it because one i feel like the the design is different i've never seen a purse with this type of shape also i needed a beige bag but more than anything i loved the price point anytime i can find a designer bag or a luxury bag for under two thousand dollars i'm i got my eye on it because i don't like spending a, a lot of money on purses i don't mind spending money on shoes but purses that's where i draw the line this is sculpted so so nice it's designed perfectly this is the suede um bag in dark beige I will say that this is probably one of my worst designer purchases only because I got it in the shade dark beige in suede. I feel like it gets dirty really easy. I already have a little black. I don't even know what that is. It looked like somebody touched it with a pen. I know I didn't do it. I have to be really careful. Like I'm, I'm quick to like do this when I'm, you know, messing with my hair or my face and I might get foundation on my fingernails and not knowing if I touch my bag, then the bag gets dirty really easily the first time i wore it was actually in cancun and it was raining that night and the water spots are still on the bag this bag gets dirty very easily and it's not even with dirt so i would definitely say this is one of my worst designer purchases just because i didn't think it through and i got a light colored suede bag i should have got this bag in dark beige but leather so i love the bag i wear it i'm definitely gonna wear it as much as i can i just feel like like it's gonna look really really dirty really really soon okay so let's talk about shoes and honey I have quite a few pairs so grab you some popcorn and wine I know that doesn't go together I know but it's gonna be a long one so yeah first pair love these so much these are the jimmy choo mules these come in so many different colors i feel like jimmy choo really outdid their stuff with this design i mean you have a lot of toe cleavage like you would when you wear the pagals or the so kates from louis louboutin um these are so nice the detail of these is absolutely amazing they are really classy elegant shoe i feel like this would look good on anyone leg whether you're muscular toned skinny um you know a little juicy you know what i'm saying these will look good on anybody's feet anybody's leg and they're super comfortable and wearable i feel like any shoe that has a mule when you're standing for long periods of time or you're walking you have a lot of air circulating through the shoe you can kick your feet back and it's not a lot of tension and 
engulfing your toes together and squeezing your toes where you can really get a nice amount of time wearing them before you start feeling uncomfortable i have worn these shoes out once already i wore them in cancun with the pink dress so i did kind of like a monochrome vibe where like i just played on all different shades of like pink red and burgundy and that look was an absolute look okay it was a hit i loved that look it was so elegant and classy i love these shoes the price point on these were 11.95 i bought them here in the jimmy choo store in the highland park area and yes had to sign up and tell the essay you know keep me updated these shoes are so nice i've already seen them you know make them in different colors and i love these shoes so so much that i got them in white Okay, when I saw these, I got these in Nordstrom's on sale. Now, because they are white and they have that clear material, these do get dirty a little bit easier and faster, um, but they are easier to clean. They're definitely easy to clean, and I like it how the detail on this area, it comes with a variety of colors. So because it's so many different colors in these little rhinestones, you can wear this with pink, green, orange, burgundy, purple, um, blue. You can wear this with so many different colors. The first time I wore these was with a cute little blue romper. Oh my God, that outfit was absolutely a hit. I think that was the most likes that I have gotten on Instagram in a really, really long time since Instagram rolled out reels and regular pictures just aren't as visible on the platform that picture did really really well i think it was on the explore page so yeah these shoes are definitely a hit i'm so sad and sorry that more people couldn't get these because when i seen these in nordstrom that was my first time seeing these i've seen them in different colors but I, but I had never seen anyone with these and not only that i got these bad boys on sale clearance for 6.95 so that's almost half the price of the regular shoe that I got and yeah I love these these are in a size 38 and the other shoes that I got are in a size 39 so definitely best purchase Okay, so back in May when I was doing Mayhem, I did go to New York to see one of my girls, Monroe Steele. She definitely influences me to buy more designer. I mean, I've always liked shoes, but when I watch her channel, I don't know, she just really makes me wanna shop. So when we got to link together in New York, we went over to Bergdorf's. This was my first time going in Bergdorf's and I picked up these Gian Vito Rossi meals here um like I again this was my first time seeing this design usually when i would see these shoes it would have the ankle strap but because my legs are so so skinny and i have like the smallest ankles on earth <laughs> when i tried the ones with the strap on I was just like, no, these don't look good on my feet. I feel like those shoes literally only look good on girls with like very meaty legs and nice calf muscles and they have like a nice average ankle size. So I decided to pick these up in the mule style instead and I love these. Now I don't think that this is a four inch heel. I think that these are probably like three and three quarters but I love these and they are super, super, super comfortable. Um, the price point was also super friendly as well. I got these from Bergdorf for, I believe they were $995. So this is definitely a best purchase. I feel like these are super wearable. I can wear these with jeans. I can wear these with a dress. These are very, very elegant shoes and classy and definitely a best designer purchase. All right, the next pair of shoes are these Fendi slides. I also picked these up in New York at Bergdorf, and these are super, super comfortable. The price point on these, hmm, I think these were $995, if not, okay, so I'm, I'm mistaken. The Gian Vito Rossi's were $1,095, these were $995. Because I know I spent like over $2,000 at Bergdorf that day. These are super, super comfortable. I have worn these, listen, I wear these dressed up or down. I will put on a whole sheet in active wear set with these bad boys. Yeah. Yeah. 
but I also have dressed them up. Um, I think the first time I wore these out with an outfit, I had on like a little blue bustier. It was like a Sunday fun day with one of the PayPals. We went to brunch and I just, I had these Aritzia um, wide leg pants that did not go all the way to the floor. Like I have long legs, excuse me. So when I wear wide leg pants, I expect them to cover my shoes um, when I wear heels and those didn't. So I was like, okay, let me put these on because these are still fashionable. I had on like a little gold belt. Um, and I think that these were super, super comfortable. They were really cute with the outfit. I was dressed up, but still casual and comfortable because that was a really, really hot day. I mean, I think it was like 100 115 degrees that day it was like over the summer and we ripped and ran we did brunch at restoration hardware rooftop and then we bar hops a little bit and I was able to like walk around and really enjoy myself and enjoy you know the time spending with the PayPal um, because I had these shoes on instead of heels so I highly recommend these they are definitely still in the store um, you can't go wrong with flats and just having a gold pair of flats I feel like is essential for anybody that uh, likes wearing heels but when you go out you need something fashionable to wear so you can bar hop and walk around in and be comfortable so these were definitely a best designer purchase all right next pair since we're talking about Fendi are these Fendi mules here oh my god let me tell you I was in Nordstrom one day Definitely was not intending on buying a pair of shoes, but let me tell you, when you park on the shoe side and you have to go through the shoe department, that's dangerous. Oh my God, that is so dangerous. So I end up seeing these and that particular day I had on a pair of skinny jeans, right? These shoes look really, really good with skinny jeans. So I tried on like the little the little shoe that they had on the table i had no idea that i would love this shoe that much when i tried it on i immediately wanted i said grab these for me what size i get these in in a 38 i said grab these for me in a size 38 these are so dang on comfortable and fashionable there are several um designers and dupes for these shoes i've seen jeffrey campbell dupe these i've seen Colt Gaia dupe these. These are so amazing. The retail price on these, I think, were, ooh, I don't know. Do not quote me on this, but I think that these bad boys were $12.95. I got them in Nordstrom's. What I like about it is that the shoe is a mule, right? But you can also put this strap around your heel and wear it this way. So instead of seeing the strap go over the foot, the strap is behind the heel, kind of like a sling bag. Um, super, super cute. So you can wear these in two different styles. I have yet to wear these freaking shoes. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, I did. I wore these when I went to meet a PayPal. So I did a monochrome look. I did not take pictures that day, unfortunately, because my skin was going crazy. But I did like a nude bodysuit with some nude leg split leggings, and they were super cute. This was nice. So I did like, I just accessorized with gold, but I don't have any pictures with these because I find it hard to find outfits to wear with this shoe. And I think it's because it's so gold, like you really have to find the perfect dress or the perfect outfit to wear it because these shoes are so like they're outstanding they're gonna stand out whatever outfit you wear this is the eye catcher so I would definitely like wear like a monochrome look or all brown or all black and let this be what catches the eye but I definitely feel like even though I don't wear them that much that these, these are still a best designer purchase I just have to find something that really goes with it okay the next pair of shoes are these Attico snakeskin mules these are really, really different, really, really cute. The price point on these were $8.95. I bought these from Neiman Marcus here in Dallas. What I love about them is all of the different colors, and this is snakeskin. So um, you have a lot of green, so you can dress these up with, you know, anything. Like you can wear green with it, black. The first time I wore these shoes were when, when I went to see my baby daddy. 
Chris Brown. Yeah, I went to his after party and I just put on this um, one piece set with like, it had all these little different little holes in it. I feel like it was definitely appropriate to go meet Chris Brown. Yeah, with red hair, threw these on and I wore my um, Bottega bag with it because it's so much green in these shoes. I just played on the green that night and then I had green hair. It was a look, okay? It was such a look that Chris Brown looked at me. Stop playing with me, okay? Love these. Are they comfortable? Yes. I have tried Attico shoes on before and I was skeptical about them after I tried them on because this little part over the toes, as you walk, your foot slides in them and it kind of like scrapes a little bit. So eventually they become uncomfortable. These actually aren't uncomfortable, unlike the other ones that are similar. So this has the round block heel the other ones have the triangular block heel i like these so much more i feel like these really complement my legs um just having that little chunky heel if you have skinny legs i feel like it makes your it gives the illusion that your legs are thicker than what they are plus mules if you have skinny legs with mules i feel like that's just a sexy shoe to wear i am obsessed with watching sex in a city you know Sarah Jessica Parker, her character, Carrie Bradshaw, she wears a lot of mules. And that's what really turned me on to liking mules as opposed to strappy sandals because Carrie's legs, although she's skinny, I mean, every time she put on a pair of mules, it just made her bow-legged legs just stand out and look so freaking sexy. Like, I feel like mules for girls with long legs are so ideal. You just can't go wrong. So this is definitely a best designer purchase. All right, next up are these Saint Laurent sling backs. I just recently purchased these. I wore these to my Jo Malone meet and greet with an all white look. So I was going for like that Marc Jacobs runway look and then I paired it with these to give it a pop of color. These sling backs are absolutely amazing. Look at that heel. That heel, baby, is so freaking sexy. So I had a videographer at Jo Malone to come and film, and he got like this one shot where it starts from my feet and it goes up to my entire outfit. And I'm telling you, these shoes are so freaking sexy on anybody. I've seen Lori Harvey with the black patent leather ones. I haven't seen anyone else with the red ones, but I feel like these amps up any look are they comfortable okay yes they are comfortable but i would not recommend wearing these if you're going to be standing in them for a long periods of time let me tell you at the meet and greet i wore these bad boys and i stood in them for about roughly three and a half hours i could not walk to my car afterwards and i didn't bring any flats so yeah your girl needed a little assistance i think i got on anthony back after that like and he walked me to my car because my feet were dying okay the sling back really pushes your feet into this little pointy toe area and yeah my toes were literally suffocating they were mad at me and i really feel like okay i'm gonna have to give me some corn removers because i feel like i was gonna have a corn on my pinky toe but are they worth it definitely the price point on these i got them from nordstrom's and they were 11.95 love them so definitely a best purchase but i will say you cannot walk in these for a long period of time or stand for a long period of time get where you go and sit down and look cute that's it okay the next pair of shoes are these prada platform strappy sandals oh my god i absolutely love so i try my best to get a good amount of wears out of all of my shoes especially my designer shoes because i spend so much money on them i definitely want to wear them as much as i can i have already worn these about two or three times already the first time i wore them i wanted to do a casual look right because i was doing sunday fun day i wanted to be comfortable but casual i didn't want to get overdressed um because that's really easy to do living here in dallas you can definitely be overdressed going certain certain places so i paired these with these um like a stone washed 
gray type of jean they were levi's with this um orange muscle tank that had like pops of green in it and i just wore it with the white purse that was a hit um it definitely did really well on instagram as far as likes and impressions these shoes i feel like play on that ballerina shoe they look like ballerina shoes except for they have that little small little toe area that that peek through but like when you're wearing them it's the style like it's the shape they just look like a ballerina shoe these are super super comfortable i wore them again in cancun and i was walking around the mall i was walking around the city i even walked to a nice little restaurant i had a good time in these shoes they are super super comfortable okay so the price point on these i think were 14.95 these I got from Neiman Marcus they are still available in several different colors they come in hot pink as well as black the black were sold out and I think the hot pink were sold out when I went to Neiman Marcus but these they still had these and I love the color green whether it's olive money or um, emeralds hunter green I love the color green so I didn't have an emerald pair of green shoes so I definitely felt like these would be a nice addition to my shoe collection now i did have buyer's remorse when i got home after i bought them because of my little little skinny legs okay i feel like for me platform shoes with strappy sandals really accentuate how small my legs are because the shoe is so chunky um so when i got home i was like these don't look good on my legs they they don't look good on my feet like i like how they look but on me i just i was feeling very regretful that i spent the money on them right and then i was like you know what keep them wear them with jeans don't return them because I feel like these would look really good with like wide leg pants, skinny jeans. Like you can really play with this this style of shoe. So even though they are they do look chunky on my feet and my legs, chunky shoes is trending right now. Like uh, Valentino has chunky shoes, Versace has chunky shoes, and on everybody those shoes make your legs look extremely small and skinny. Even if you have meaty juicy legs. So I was like forget it just keep them and wear them with jeans and I'm so happy that I did because I love these shoes and every time I wear them I get so so many compliments so these are definitely a best designer purchase all right we winding on down we winding on down all right second to last pair of shoes are these Givenchy strappy sandals now I know what you're thinking these look a little odd but what I love about this shoe is that it looks like a mule when you have it on. It looks like a mule and then it looks like you have a Givenchy ankle bracelet on. So this little minimal strap on the back, it basically lays on the back of your heel and it just looks like you have on a Givenchy ankle bracelet with a pair of mules. These are so freaking cute immediately when i saw these i was debating between getting these and a pair of dolce and gabbana um strappy black strappy sandals and i ended up choosing these because these are so unique and i felt like if i didn't get them i would never be able to get them again dolce and gabbana literally i feel like they have similar shoes like i already have a pair i did not have a pair of these i love the price point on these i think these were a thousand and ninety five these are super super comfortable easy to walk in i love the detail on the heel um these are just really really timeless and classic they come in a variety of colors i think i've seen monroe with the brown ones as well as Aaliyah. i think she has the brown ones these are just really really cute and elegant it's a minimal shoe um, I will say <coughs> I did have buyer's remorse with these because I wear long nails and the way that this ties right is not your traditional way of uh, strapping on a strappy sandal. You have this necklace type of detail here and you have to clamp it and once you actually have the anklet around your ankle it's hard 
to clamp on. So I did have a little regret with buying these, but I'm glad that I have them. But I did have buyer's remorse with these just because of that. I feel like I get a little agitated trying to put these shoes on because it is kind of hard to clamp that, um, that little clasp around the chain but once these are on they are absolutely beautiful i've worn these twice already the first time i wore them was with this little mugler inspired outfit when i went out on a little uh, uh, a girl's night out um and it was absolutely a hit that outfit was super sexy and it went really well with these shoes because the leggings had like this little ankle strap that goes around the foot um and i felt like these shoes helped keep that ankle strap in place if that makes sense so these definitely were a best designer purchase as well but i did have buyer's remorse after i got them on the first night and tried them on the first night i did kind of want to return them but i decided to keep them all right, so let's talk about boots, okay? Because it's fall and we're getting into boot season. So I picked up these Hanifa Zoe leather boots. These are so freaking sexy. Um, Hanifa is a black owned designer brand um, and she has very nice luxurious pieces and I love her price point. These were $6.95. I end up getting these. I wanted these shoes so freaking bad, y'all. When I seen them, I had to have them. I felt like the design was definitely made for my leg because I've struggled with finding boots that can fit my calf muscles and stay up. Like my legs are so skinny when I'm walking, the boots be sliding down like slouch socks. It's real embarrassing, okay? The you, you girl trying to get her, her weight up, okay? I seen these and I had to have them. They were sold out in my size, so I went up a size and I got them in eight and a half. Are they too big? Hell yeah. They are. If, if anybody want to buy these, I'll sell them to you if you were an eight and a half so I can get a seven and a half or an eight because they are too big. My feet be sliding to the front, but I wanted them so bad. Do I have buyer's remorse? Yes, because they don't fit. I very rarely wear them. I feel like even though they only a half size bigger, I feel like they make my feet look so big. I've worn them one time already. I wore them with an all black leotard jumpsuit with a um black uh bubble jacket bubble crop jacket it was really really cute i got a lot of compliments that night and a lot of attention um and a lot of men kept saying i love your boots like i got so many compliments on my shoes from men they thought that these were bottega veneta but i'm like no these are from a black owned designer so the only regret that i have is getting them in a size bigger i should have waited but i thought that they were only going to be released once i didn't know that she was restocking them so i ended up getting them and i regret that i got them it is a worse designer purchase only only because these run big and I got a half size bigger because my size was sold out. All right, and last up are my fave boots of all time. I love these boots, y'all. These should have been in the first episode of Buyer's Remorse, but I forgot that I had them because my closet was not organized. And if I can't see, if I can't walk in my closet and see what I have, I will forget that I have it and they are the Givenchy shark boots. So these are the mid cab shark boots. These are uh, much more affordable in my opinion than the knee boot. The knee boot is almost $2,500. These are 2000, so they're, they're 1995. I got these while I was in Vegas for my cousin Tanya's birthday. They were a gift to me because I have been wanting these shoes for so long when the shark boots first came out. Um, I definitely could not afford them, but these are a classic boot. They literally never go out of style. So luckily, once I able, was able to get some coin to afford them, I decided to get the mid-calf. I couldn't make myself spend $2,500 on a pair of boots. You know what I'm saying? Jumping into, you know, jumping out the gym and spending my coin on designer and luxury items. You know, I, I have to I have to talk myself through it because I will have buyer's remorse if I spend too money too much money on pieces that I rarely wear. You know what I'm saying? That's why I try my best to wear my stuff because I don't want to have buyer's remorse about it. I don't have buyer's remorse about these shoes, even though I don't wear them that often. This is a boot that never goes out of style. Like 
Shark, the shark boots literally will never go out of style. And since this is the newer design, they just came out with the mid calf. Um, I really, really wanted these in the staple color black. Now, let's talk about this boot. Um, like the knee boot, these wrinkle fast as you walk, like they crease. So I do feel like when I'm wearing these, um, I walk really still because I don't want them to crease. I have OCD bad, but yeah, you can put on jeans with these and a black sweater, that's casual, that's cute, you know what I'm saying? And serve a nice look. So I definitely will say that these are a best designer purchase. I've only worn these and took a picture in them once and that was with a black jumpsuit, a um, red puffer jacket, and these. And I, I, I just went to breakfast with, you know, my guy friend at the time. So yeah, these were a hit. It's so funny because he said on the date that he hates these shoes. And he knew exactly what they were called and everything. I thought that that was so interesting because you know how on uh, Legally Blonde, when Elle was talking about the guy that was acting like he had slept with the lady that she was defending and she was like, no, he's gay. Only gay men, no designers. So I thought that was very interesting that, sh that sir knew that these were shark boots. Like, sir, how do you, how, you how, how do you know? All right, you guys, so that is it for episode two of Buyer's Remorse. Like I said, I only felt Buyer's Remorse for about four items. That's the Jackamoose purse and three pairs of shoes. I only had one worst designer purchase, and that was the Hanifa Zoe boot. And that's only because, only because the shoe runs big and I got a half size up because my size was sold out. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's chat in the comments and talk about these shoes and these pieces, honey. And yeah, until the next video, I'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to check out my vlogs. If you are new here, become a PayPal. I call all of my subscribers PayPal. And all you have to do to become a PayPal is hit the subscribe button. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another video soon. Bye. Jersey!